this spirited man lives in a time when just about anything can be called art. In college, he learned that the reason just about anything could be called art is because, about a hundred years ago, a guy said that a toilet was art and everybody believed him. The guy didn't even make the toilet. So now it seems like they call everything art. But this can't be, thinks the spirited man. Not everything can be art. So what the hell is art? To help him understand what is art, this spirited man did an experiment. He took a work of art that he knew in his bones to be a work of art, though he didn't know why, and went on a quest to determine why this work of art was a work of art. His experiment was strange and not scientific. In fact, it may have been the opposite of scientific because the spirited man was experimenting in the realm of feelings, not empirical facts. For his strange experiment, this spirited man retyped this work of art. Then, he put some kind of adhesive on the back of the typed pages. Then he cut out each line of type with an olfa. He mounted the lines of type to a gigantic sheet of paper. Also, he redrew the drawings from the original work of art. His favorite drawing drawing. His favorite drawing was this one, and it's a drawing of a butthole. This work took months, during which this spirited man listened to comedians on his broken headphones. experiment had served its purpose. This spirited man understood now what made this work of art a work of art. What made this work of art a work of art is that it preserved the human spirit. That's what a work of art does. A work of art preserves the human spirit. This spirited man felt satisfied with this understanding. He wondered if his experiment would be considered a work of art, then suspected he would never know because he could never see it all at once for the first time the way others could. He could only see it gradually as it was made. This spirited man watched a movie, a movie about an artist. In this movie, they showed this book. This spirited man read this book. This book gave a very simple definition of art. The book's author was a great artist, so the definition had considerably more weight than this spirited man's definition. The author was disgusted by what passed for art in his day, too. His day was over a hundred years ago. He said that art had been taken over by snobby rich folks and phony artists who wanted to be like the snobby rich folks. The author's simple definition of art was that it is the transmission of feeling the artist has experienced. In other words, art makes you feel something, 
the artist once felt. He said that Dickens' A Christmas Carol, for instance, was a genuine piece of art. He also said that so-called art had become so exclusive that it came to nothing. The spirited man wondered if the author, when he wrote this book, had any idea of the fate that awaited the snobby rich folks and the phony artists who wanted to be like them. Thank you to the comedians who got us through this very difficult year. Thank you for preserving the feeling of laughter you once felt, filtering it through your artistic discipline, and conveying it to us. Thank you Joe Rogan, Dave Chappelle, Theo Vaughn, Tim Dillon, Bert Kreischer, Ari Shafir, Tom Segura, Christina Pajitsky, Mark Marin, Ali Wong, Whitney Cummings, Donnell Rawlings, Hannibal Burris, Duncan Trussell, Tony Hinchcliffe, Norm MacDonald, Brian Regan, Bill Burr, Brian Regan, Louis C.K., Chris Rock, Jerry Seinfeld, Larry David, J.B. Smoove, Andrew Schultz, David Spade, Joey Diaz, and the rest of you.